Hello guys, my name is Cosmo and I have to tell you guys why I fucking love Remnant from the Ashes. Now, I'm not a guy that actually goes back to games. Um, I go through a game, I play it, I finish it, and I'm mostly done with it. Uh, I, The moment I actually, you know, mostly finish the story, I'm done. I maybe go back for some roguelikes, but I'm definitely not one to, you know, just spin up a game for the fun of it. But I do it from Remnant. For Remnant. Um, and I'm not really sure why. On one hand, this game is more or less a Dark Souls light with guns. Uh, the gunplay is really pretty good. Uh, Build-wise, you don't really have much, but it has a lot of uh, persistency to it with the trade system. Like, you can just more or less keep upgrading this and you have like a gazillion of these traits. And that's your long-term goal with... Um... Oh, fuck with um, a long-term character that you're just going to be playing on. It doesn't really have a long campaign, it doesn't really have any endgame raids or anything like that. You just more or less replay the adventures over and over again, like different sections of Earth, of the other alien planets. And it's just a really nice game. It's solid. It's solid in a way that not games nowadays just aren't. It's solid in a very chunky way. It it doesn't have any outstanding bugs. It plays nice and smooth. The combat works. Uh, there's nothing fidgety about it. Uh, the actual primary gameplay loop of going around, uh, getting iron and, hey, look, a cool item. Band of Pollux. Getting these items uh, is just cathartic. Oh, oh, hello there. Oh, hey. This guy is pretty angry at me. Oh, he resisted my damage. Oh, that's interesting. Why did he resist my damage? Now, ah, there we go. He has a special thing. Oh, 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 wow. Isn't that the thing? And this is interesting because I'm actually playing a hardcore character. Let's not die, shall we? Uh, they've added a few monsters lately and I guess this is uh, uh, one of them. Oh, right, so when he has, like, that, that thing about him, I really should just be going away. Right, all right. So, I was saying before I was dying in this very hardcore character. Um, this game actually has a lot of staying power for no other real reason than... Um, there we go. Uh, then the reason that the combat works really, really well. Uh, Build-wise, uh, there's not that much to build inside the game. Uh, you have uh, a variety of items, but not that many, and they don't really differ all that much. And, uh, and mostly comes from armor, which is like... Uh, take it from me, as a guy that has played RPGs to fucking death and beyond. Um, there isn't all that much customizability in the game. But what actually keeps me coming back to it, like, on a Friday evening, just coming back from work and I just want to sit back and just kill some dudes. And this works so well. Um, I have to take it back to my days when I was playing Diablo 2. Um, basically, I was playing Diablo 2 and a very specific instance of Diablo 2. I was playing Diablo 2 uh, with the Assassin, with a martial arts spec on Nightmare Difficulty in um, Act 4 in the River of Flames, just, you know, the, and actually this, uh, after the real River of Flames, when we're actually entering uh, Diablo's Cathedral and killing Diablo himself. The entire section is about 45 minutes, and it's just good gameplay, especially with the Assassin's Martial Arts. You have, like, a nice rhythm of right-click, right-click, left-click to trigger some level, some spells. Uh, it, it's it's really, it, it works so well as a gameplay perspective. And I have, uh, I've been following Yahtzee's, if you don't know Yahtzee from, uh, from The Escapist, you really should check out all of his stuff. He actually does a dev blog nowadays, just uh, showing his teachings, what he's learning from um, developing games. And uh, he actually has been saying uh, for last year when he, he actually did like a, a game a month, um, he said focus on the primary gameplay loop. That's his mantra. And I can understand why, because if you have, you can have a game like this, right? A game that 
technically should have been... Uh... Oh, wow, that's a lot of dudes. A game that should have been uh... overstaying its welcome a long time ago. And still drawing me in. I mean, the game has been out since 2019. Okay, is that guy summoning these guys? Because that's a problem. Uh, again, uh, there's been a new patch and there's some new monsters in here. And I don't actually know them yet. But yeah, I was saying, pr focus on primary game play, play, gameplay loop. I wish I could talk. Focus on a primary gameplay loop. And that's what Remnant has done really, really well. Um, the campaign itself is a bit overwrought and the story is a bit eh. Um, but you have an option of playing adventures. And what adventures actually are, are these predefined sections. You have like two open areas, two underground, whatever, special areas uh, with bosses which get continuously randomized. So you don't know what bosses you're going to be finding, you don't know what areas you're going to be finding. Some of them have specific items, some of the bosses have specific uh, weapons and stuff that they drop it if they are killed in a certain way. So you don't really know and uh, it's been, it, 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 it's easy to go like, hey, I'm just going to do a run tonight. I'm going to make, try and see if uh, I can spawn some monster on Earth and get that item from it. And that usually takes about an hour, which is a nice time to just... Uh, you know, not interfere with uh, the rest of your evening. You can just sit down and kill some dudes for an hour with... Oh, we actually have swords in this. Let me show you swords. There we go. We also have swords. Why would you use swords when you have guns? Nobody knows. But anyways... Oh, wow. Uh... Give me a second here, let me not die horribly. I'm actually uh, playing this hardcore character to get some new items that have been uh, put in. Uh, and the game actually doesn't penalize you for playing at a lower difficulty, I'm playing at hard, which is just enough. Uh, there's no reason to kill myself with uh, basically stat, buff, stat buffed enemies uh, at hard difficulties. It's I, I, can, I do play that sometimes, but not for what I'm playing Remnant usually. Um, but yeah, I was saying, uh, it just has the right, the right amount of enjoyability, playability, and repeatability that uh, it manages to be very low-key interactive. Hmm, did I miss uh, a checkpoint there? Anyways, it manages to be this uh, low-key interactive, um, it's like a light beer, you know? just go in, have like a nice light beer, nothing that challenges you per se, just offers the ever so slightly nice interesting moments here and there. Um, but it also is helped because of the fact that Remnant as a game itself is developed with a lot of care for the player. Now it's, it's weird to actually say this, but Games have uh, stopped I don't know, stopped caring about the, the player's time. Um, so, for example, I'm not going to bring in Dark Souls because that will actually bring so much ire upon me that I don't care to deal with it. But I will bring in The Surge, which is another Dark Souls-like game, which features a lot of uh, surprise enemies, right? So enemies which you just are walking here and boom, here's the stock enemy uh, which is sitting behind the wall, is gonna smack you in the face and there's nothing learned. You learn nothing about the mechanics, you learn nothing about the game. It's not even replayable because that monster will always be there, it's gonna punch your face in the exact same way and you are just going to lose time. You're gonna be losing time. Um, Dark, okay, I'm gonna bring in Dark Souls. Uh, in Dark Souls, just uh, going to bosses it usually involves some like pre section, right? Where you actually have to go through some monsters, and it's actually challenging sometimes getting to the boss in one piece. Not so in uh, Remnant. Uh, I wish I could have uh, gotten this checkpoint earlier just so I can show it to you, but in a Remnant, uh, you have a checkpoint before every boss. 
Yes, 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 I know. Casual. Yes, hate me for being casual, but it's it's just nice. It's just playable. It's just not you know, if you can get through an area five times and one time you just are just ever so slightly unlucky or one time you just are ever so slightly uh, un not really on the trigger for that dodge. It's it's challenging to feel good when uh, basically the game demands of you things which you can already do but you know it doesn't really demand you that you do them it demands you to have the consistency to do them which in the uh, in the term of you know just replaying for uh, enemies uh, for you know getting killed by random enemies on the way to boss and I never really that never really sat well with me especially being a 30-something 30, 30 gamer, I have played games for fucking ages and ages and ages. I have grinded my way through things I shouldn't grind to. I have climbed my way across impassable mountains in Morrowind. I have wasted, in quote, air quotes, enough time on games that I don't really want the game to do that for me, to ask that of me. And I was I actually had this huge article about Remnant a while back. I was gonna be writing about games respecting your time and I was gonna make some uh, comparisons with roguelikes and uh, Dark Souls likes, but that didn't really uh, pan out. But most of that feeling is still there. I still feel that I, I lose nothing if uh, I lose nothing from playing uh, Remnant, right? Give me a second here, let me make sure I don't actually lose uh, the Harker character, but... Um, it's about not feeling that you're losing time, and I know that if I'm gonna be sitting uh, down with Remnant for an hour, it's gonna be a pleasurable hour, it's gonna be a nice cathartic hour, it's gonna be just me enjoying the... Oh, who are you? Oh, you're the, the guy that summons things. Okay, no more. Uh, I'm going to be sure that those 45 minutes are fun, interesting, light, and just enough s sprinkles of challenge there that uh, make me make my you know eyebrow go a little up and go like, hey. I mean, you've seen me. I've been playing this for about, what, uh, 15 minutes now, and I've had like one or two hey moments. Uh, and that's just nice. Oh well. It's nice that these kinds of experiences are still available, and this is what actually keeps me coming back to Remnant after. Ye it's been out like two years by this point, I think. And uh, I actually went away from it a while, but I kind of reinstalled it to play with someone. He didn't really stuck around for it, but uh, it got me back into it again. And. Again, I don't usually have games that I just, you know, pop in and go like, hey, I'm going to play like an hour of this. Usually I'm, I'm, I'm kind of focused with my gaming time. I'm just going to play like this campaign or play, uh, uh, you know, like one run of this roguelike or something just to, you know, ha hammer in a build or something like that. But I don't really uh, play games for the, nowadays at least, for the relaxation of it, right? Uh, for the actual uh, ability of the game to induce this uh, cathartic state where more or less you can succumb to muscle memory and just l let that play out. Ow, 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 ow. Phew, right. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, the last game I remember that could do this for me has been Hades, uh, back in early access, and I'm actually planning on picking up Hades again. Or again, Jupiter Hill, another roguelike, which I'm sometimes playing at work just because it's a real time, but still very, it's turn-based possible, uh, kind of. <laughs> uh, you have to play it to believe it. But basically, I don't really have that space in my time or interest for just purely relaxing with the game. 
And that's a shame, but it's more of a shame that I have that so few games reach that niche for me, which I'm pretty sure it's also a niche for other people as well. Uh, games which are still challenging, still offer you some interesting, very playable, fun gameplay, but without uh, putting so much pressure on you or making you feel that your time is useless, right? Um, I think that's the difference between playing something like this because you want to, right? Because you are just going to make another run of Earth or some of, uh, some of the other planets in the game for like an hour. Versus picking up something like Assassin's Creed of, or God of War and um, going in just because you have some more, you know... Uh, phew. I, I got the, the flow with that guy. Uh, just because you have some more uh, flags to unlock or objectives to do, that, that feels like something the game is, you know, telling you to do. You're doing it because it's there. You're not really doing it because you're engaged with the game. You're doing it because the game offers it to you and you're going like, yeah, sure, whatever. But it being in this situation with Remnant for me, it can be entire, uh, entirely another game for you, but being in the situation with Remnant for me is mostly something that I choose to do. I fully choose to engage in another run in Remnant or in other roguelikes which I play. Um, which, again, it's not really a roguelike, but I'm using it as a point of comparison for repeatability. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean... Here, this is gonna be an, a boss fight, but I know for sure before the boss fight I will have uh, a nice little checkpoint which I can exit the game, just fully exit the game, and I'll be teleported back there. Not a problem. Uh, you don't really, really care about permanent teleporters because the areas aren't really that spread out usually, so you don't really care about you know unlocking shortcuts or anything like that. Um, Again, even unlocking shortcuts in like a Dark Souls, it became it becomes some, something like a a weird time sink, which you're doing it to be faster at doing the thing. <laughs> in any case, uh, this video has been going on a fair bit by this point, and I'm not gonna keep you guys along for the ranting. But this is why I love Remnant. This is why I really, really like Remnant, and this is why I actually fire Remnant at coming home after like eight or nine hours of work. Of all the games I have installed right now, the reason I pick up Remnant is because the gameplay is really good, it's easy, it's ac it's, um, it's accessible, not easy. Uh, it allows you to invest in it as much as you want and get out of it as much as you want. It has a solid progression system in terms of, you know, very long-term progression. And it offers you that instant, okay, if I'm going to exit the game now, I'm not going to be losing anything or much at all. Uh, the game will always be there for me to engage with it instead of the game always keeping stuff for me, checklists for me to do in it. So allowing, my, allowing me to in, in, uh, use this agency to actually engage with the game on my own terms and giving me reasons and motivations to actually engage with the game on my own terms is something that I feel that it's lacking in the current game uh, arena. But anyways, this has been Cosmo. Uh, thank you for listening, and I will see you guys in the next one.